Now let's talk about polyprotic acids. Polyprotic acid, uh, we have sulfurous acid on this page. It has a Ka and a K, uh, Ka1 and a Ka2 value. That means it's going to have two different Ka reactions. The first one is always for the first proton. So that's going to be take H2SO3. Uh, put it in water. That's what we always do for Ka and Kb reactions. Since it's an acid, move an H plus over. That's going to make hydronium. And HSO3 minus. Um, and of course, uh, that uh, hydrogen sulfide ion, yeah, that's a good name, is going to have a Kb value, which is equal to 1 over the Ka1. Oh, I keep doing that. Kw over Ka1, which is going to be 6.3 times 10 to the minus 13. Now, uh, next, let's do the next one in a different color. Uh, now we're going to start with this hydrogen sulfide ion. It's a Ka reaction that we're writing again. That means because we're going to do Ka2. Transfer a proton. Uh, not that way. Transfer the proton from the acid to the base. We get... Hydronium again, and sulfite. And we can find the Kb for sulfite. And it's going to be Kw over Ka2. And we get for that one, 1.6. Times 10 to the minus 7. Um, based on these values. Now, what we can say is that as you go from Ka1 to Ka2, you'll notice that H2SO3 is a stronger acid, although it is still weak. It is a stronger acid than HSO3 minus. Coming the other direction, we will note that of these two, so uh, here is a stronger base. than hydrogen sulfite. And in fact, the more negative you are, tends to be the stronger base if you're comparing across ions. So like if you take a, a proton away, you're going to get something that is a base and more negative, and that's going to actually tend to be stronger. Um, and uh, But what we're also coming away is this idea that HSO3 minus, since it can be both an acid and a base, is something called amphoteric. And one working definition of an amphoteric material is that it can be either an acid or a base. It can be either acid or base, uh, depending upon its environment. And by environment, I just mean what else is around it. There's another amphoteric material that we've seen, that's water. Water can be an acid or a base depending upon its environment as well. Let's keep going. And that now the question is, calculate the pH um, and uh, concentration. Let's do, yeah, and... Uh, Let's do uh, pH and concentration of all species in a 0 0.100 molar solution of hydrogen, of sulfurous acid. So we now know that sulfurous acid, so that's what we have. That's the only thing we have. So we have to write, well, we have water, that we have to write a K for that. Like we can't do anything with any of the other species we just talked about. So this is going to be a Ka ice table. Uh, let's keep them. Let's go back to this and from current. 
And so K A equals uh, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 2 for H2SO3. Let's write out our ice table. For the Ka reaction, we're going to get hydronium and hydrogen sulfide. And this is one very, so again, these are, this part is very much the same. 0 0.100 0 minus X. Water is a liquid, so we don't have to worry about it. Start with approximately zero and zero of the hydrogen sulfate. Add the X's to it. Uh, this is going to be interesting because we are going to have to solve the quadratic for this because it's not smaller than 10 to the minus 4. So we get 1.6 times 10 to the minus 2 plus x squared over 0 0.100 minus x. Um, x is not small, and I am going to skip solving for it, and that's okay. So you can't ignore x, but when you do solve for it, you will get that x is 0 0.033 molar which is the concentration of hydronium. It's also the concentration of bisulfate or hydrogen sulfate and the concentration of sulfurous acid is just 0 0.100 minus X. And for that, I get 0 0.067 molar. Did I get that? Yep. <clears throat> okay. That's our first ice table. Now we will go to our second ice table, uh, which is going to be for around Ka2. I'll do that in a different color. How about green? And let's see what happens. Let's see if these second ice tables are important. So this is going to be Ka2. Ka2 is 6.4 times 10 to the minus 8. All right, we've now got our hydrogen sulfate, sulfite. We add our water. We make hydronium. And we make sulfite. And that fit very nicely. Good. Now, here's one thing that's tricky and that will be happening increasingly now is that we do have some of our reactants and in fact, some of our products. We don't care about our water, but we have 0 0.033 here. We've got 0 0.033 here. And so far we have no sulfite. Still subtracting off X, adding X, adding X. And our K a expression for this is 6.4, that's okay, C, equals products over reactants. Now, oh, sorry. Uh, that's not what we have for reactants. We have 0 0.033 plus X. And that's why I should always write them out instead of taking shortcuts. This is going to be 0 0.033 plus X times X. Now, K, uh, A in this case is small, 6.4 times 10 to the minus 8. And we already have some products. So it turns out we're not that far from equilibrium. Um, and what we can do for a variety of reasons is ignore X. And this time we're going to ignore X when it's compared to, when it's added or subtracted to a much larger number. We'll check that too, because we want to make sure. What you can see is once we ignore the two X's, we get 0 
0 0.033 divided by 0 0.033, which also cancels out. So what this gets us is that x is 6.4 times 10 to the minus 8. That's molarity. And you can see that x is very small compared to 6.4, uh, so compared to 0 0.033. We are okay in ignoring it in this case. And in addition, our concentration of hydronium is 0 0.033 plus 6.4 times 10 to the minus 8, which is negligible, which means the concentration of hydronium is still 0 0.33 uh, molarity. We don't even have to really do this second ice table. Um, Okay, I'm trying to think if there's any cases where, uh, yes, there's one case where doing the second ice table matters. That's for sulfuric acid. That's because Ka1 for sulfuric acid is a strong acid. That reaction goes to completion. Um, and Ka2 is something like 10 to the minus 2, which means it's really strong as well. And write a note uh, on this page at the bottom, that the only ice table where you have to do two, or the only problem where you have to do two ice tables is for sulfuric acid, I think. But write the, so just don't write the I think part, just write the rest of it.